Hello. Uh, I don't know what today is going to be like. Um, there are some fours that I have sent and like worked on for a while, and I didn't get them on camera, so I'm going to do that today. Hopefully, I can do them. So, that's what today's going to be. Sorry, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm very excited because I got a tripod. And that's what I'm holding this right now with. It makes it very easy. And so hopefully filming in here would be a lot easier too, so you guys can see the rods a bit better. But yeah, let's get to it. Hey you guys, and welcome to episode five. It's been a while, and I actually missed the publish date for this episode. I'm real sorry, but as I go through these warm-up routes, I'll talk about a little bit what's happened. So last Monday, my cat broke his femur. And it was a big mess of anxiety, wondering what was going to happen. But he had surgery, and he's currently recovering. But in the midst of all that, I forgot about doing voiceover work and getting everything ready for episode 5. So it's a bit late. But to make up for that, I am going to release a little... Not really a full episode, just a little side episode that I did. Uh, you'll probably see it later today, too. But yeah, that's what I've been up to. Also, it has been a while since this was recorded. One, because I'm wearing shorts in the gym, so I already know that it was a lot warmer then. It's a lot colder now. But also because the routes on the walls are changed. So the wave you just saw me on doing that V1 Plus is completely changed. This 50 degree wall, some more stuff has been added, but the stuff you see on it's still there. This too is actually pretty fun. I try and keep warm up on it and I've actually been using it to try campusing down. And if you don't know what campusing is, it's just climbing without the use of your legs. So I can't climb up with just my arms, so I've been teaching myself to climb down with my arms. Just kind of to do the motion so my body can get used to it. This V2 is actually one of my favorite V2s in the gym. I do it every single session. It's just really fun. I know how to do it. It's basically muscle memory at this point. I could do it in my sleep or do it blindfolded probably. But I also like because this ledge and everything else at the end, it's really good to stretch out the shoulders right there. That's a good stretch. And then we move on to the V4s. Uh, V4s since doing this, actually you're getting a lot easier. It's crazy how I can see myself progress so much with my videos and rewatching the footage that I record. It's like, wow, I actually am making progress, even though in some stuff I feel like I have been halting, I've been plateauing, and I haven't really been doing as well as I wanted to. But watching it now, I can see that I am progressing. And that's a really good feeling. But this V4, after doing it a few times and talking to a few people, we kind of think it's more like a V3+, plus, not really at the V4 level, but still really fun. And then on to the next V4. This one took a couple days of beta planning, mainly because of getting from the mushroom up onto the flat wall. It's interesting. It's got a lot of really nice moves, you gotta get a few high feet, but it's a really good V4. I could continue doing it in my training process. And then we move on to the big ones of the episode. So this blue one, it was up before quarantine and I was working on it then. And I definitely don't, didn't have the finger strength that I do now. So I was struggling really hard with the, kind of looks like a big blue turtle shell. You'll see me pop on in a second. But the crimp on that is almost non-existent. It's super hard and that move right there where I got my foot up, I couldn't really dig my toe in that well. And then coming back after quarantine, I felt that it was still impossible, mainly because of the ankle injury. 
It hurt in the beginning to put my toe into it, so instead I tried to use a heel hook, which I feel really comfortable with heel hooks. But there is a small red foothold that got in my way. So basically I felt like if I fell off, I would get my foot stuck between the blue hold and the red hold, and I'd just probably twist my ankle again falling off the wall. So I gave up on it for a while. For a while. And I just started coming back to it around this time, kept trying the move again, and digging that toe in. And I just started to realize that my ankle was getting used to that much weight on my, on my toes and putting that much strain on that one ankle. And so I could tell it was getting better. But it was also a hard process getting through this V4. And I even don't even do it in this. So there's actually two different days of footage in this episode. Um, mainly because I couldn't do these, I believe they were recorded on Monday. And Monday are not my strong days. So on the following Wednesday, I decided to do them again. And I had a much better turnout on those days. But you can see there, I did a little tiny micro adjustment as I was mid swing. If I hadn't done that, I probably would have stayed on. But because I've got my left hand up there and I tried to move it more, I ended up just sliding my hand off the hold and falling off. So this is the footage from the next session. I don't know if I'll continue this, um, putting multiple recorded sessions in one episode. I like to try and keep it one session if it's really good and I'm happy with the progress, I'll keep that in an episode. But because I wanted to show me getting these routes, I didn't want to cut me doing half of it and then a whole new episode of me still not getting it. But basically what I'm saying, to me this just felt better than making this episode really short and having people wait to see if I got these. When I got them, two days later, so I just put them all into one episode. And even on Wednesday, it took me a few tries to get them. They're difficult. And I wouldn't say it's that it's because they're V4s. I would say it's just because they're really well boulders. They're planned out well, they have really good moves, and they challenge you, and I think that's what a boulder should do. And they're really fun, I will say that. I still go back to them, and I still have fun doing them. I still fail on them a lot. But I think by repeating them, I keep my body in a good physical state, and it keeps training it, and it keeps wanting, pushing it to get better, and that way I don't go back down in my progress. And stuck it. And right here, I touched the red hold. But, by the laws of the climbing gods, I didn't use the red hold, I only touched it, so it still counts as a send. And I'll take it. Um, it's just hard to control the body on the backswing and I accidentally tapped it and I corrected that and I went back to the blue hold so still counts as a scent. Um, this next V4 it was also put up before quarantine and I was actually getting really far on that one. I really like it because of the overhang but mainly because you're going hand hand and then heel heel matching and then going forward again. It's a really cool sequence of movements and I really like it, but it's when you get to these three like big bubble holds, they are so bad. Some of the worst slopers that I've seen. And when you're in this angle, it just makes it so hard. And there's like one area that you can put your fingers that it actually works. And if you don't put them there, it will just fall off. And then you have to flip to the other side and then have to do a split while upside down. It's so hard. And it's also so draining by the time you get to that point. But it is super fun. I will say it was kind of upsetting that I didn't get this one on camera. Um, it's just so hard. 
I still haven't gotten it on camera. I have done it a few times and I'm just not recording at that moment. And then when I try and record it, I don't make the send again. But just rest assured, Kayla got it. And as we reach the end of this episode, I want to say thanks for watching. Sorry I was kind of jabbering a lot. Pretty noisy episode for me. I try to not talk too much, but then I get on a tangent and I'll just keep going. But I feel like it's sometimes better to hear someone talk about the routes or talk about how their progress is going than just hearing silence and seeing them doing it and not knowing what's going on. But we'll work it out. But if you like this episode, comment below, maybe say what you'd like to see, see if you'd like to see anything else, um, and share with a friend. But thanks for dropping by and watching.